Today on the Daily Brigandi, we have one of the coolest pieces I've ever showed in a video. Um, it's a really special piece, it's really rare, but what I really like about it, it tells um, a story, it's very historical. So we have a Willie Mays signed photo. Willie Mays, not a rare autograph, but what is rare about it is the inscription here and the fact that he wrote William Mays. So just the name, uh, the full name William Mays is something he rarely ever did. There's only a few examples known. Um, he also added New York Giants below and a nice little best wishes inscription. So based on the handwriting, we can tell already this is early 50s. This is a rookie era uh, autograph. Um, New York Giants, of course, the New York Giants moved to San Francisco in 58. So we know it's early 50s. Now, we're going to look at Willie Mays. He's not wearing his typical Giants um, uniform here, New York Giants uniform. It's got a big E on the top. So what that is actually is, if you know a little bit of history, after Willie Mays won the Rookie of the Year in 1951, 1952 season started, and he was drafted for the Korean War. So 1952 and 1953, Willie Mays um, was in Fort Eustis, Virginia, and that's what that E is on the cap. That's for Fort Eustis, um, E-U-S-T-I-S. -S. Um, also, you look in the background, you'll see the barracks. Right? That's probably where he slept or where you know, all the soldiers slept. So Willie Mays never actually saw action. He was um, stationed at Fort Eustis. He was a calisthenics instructor, a private William Mays. And um, he also obviously played baseball for them. So this is an original photo from 1952 and 50, or 53 um, of William, William Mays. And it's also um, signed and inscribed uh, from that period. Now, Again, why I really like it, not because it's such a rare autograph and such a, a cool early item, but it's because it tells a story. Could you imagine someone like Mike Trout today being pulled from the MLB to go uh, fight for his country? Now, at the time, um, guys, some ball players resented that. They didn't want to be pulled away from their passion. You know, he's the, the greatest baseball player in the world at the time, basically. Um, but he didn't resent it. He said he's happy to serve his country, but he always wanted to come back. And then... Uh, after his career, he was quoted as saying something along the lines that if he hadn't been pulled those uh, two seasons, he thinks that it would have been him and not uh, Hank Aaron to break Babe Ruth's career home run record. Because uh, I think he had 660 uh, career home runs. Babe Ruth had uh, 714, right? So if he had two more uh, seasons in his prime, he definitely would have broke uh, the record. So Willie Mays is like my favorite player. Uh, for that stat alone. Um, also, he was he, he hit for average, he could run, he could throw, he could field, he could do everything. Um, also, real quick, before we go, I just want to show these. So these are your tip, typical Willie Mays signatures, uh, what you see from the 80s, 90s, and up until today. So this is how he signs, and it's obviously way different from uh, the specimen we have here on this original photo from the time. Just one of the coolest pieces um, we've ever showed off. It's one of my favorite uh, pieces personally. Um, it's something I would love to keep just forever just because it's that special. Thanks for watching the Daily Brigandi. If you have any questions, let me know.